So let's go ahead and implement this project and we will be doing it step by step. And as I said that whenever you start a project, first of all, the first basic thing that you really need to do is that create a separate new environment. And that is what we are going to do in this particular video. I also want to show you that how the data set basically looks like. And based on that, we will be performing the EDN feature engineering in the upcoming videos. So uh, I'm just going to share my screen and quickly uh, we'll go step by step with respect to creating a new environment. Okay. So here is my screen. So over here already we have seen the problem statement. Okay. Now you can probably create any folder, let's say in whatever local folder you have in EEG, whatever drive you want. And let's say that I've created a folder car deco. Now inside this folder, I'm going to create my entire project. Okay. So there are multiple things that I really want to talk about. First of all, regarding our data set, right? So here I've already created one notebooks. So in this notebook, what I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to create my IPYNB file, which will probably help me to do EDA feature engineering or all. So I have just created one of the folder over here. Similarly, many folders will be going to come with respect to the entire project solution. Okay. So if I inside this particular notebook, I already have the specific data and everything will be basically available to you. The entire zip file of this thing will be available with of this project will be available and will follow the entire structure. Okay. So I really want to start from an empty folder so that you get an idea that how do we implement a project from scratch. So uh, before I create the environment, let's go ahead and see about the data set. So here is the data set regarding car deco. Uh, data set, which is basically what is the problem statement that we are going to solve. We have features like car name, brand, model, vehicle age, kilometer driven, seller type, fuel type, transmission, mileage, engine, max power seats, and we really need to predict selling price. So in short, we are actually solving a regression problem statement. Why? Because the selling price is a continuous value. Okay, we're not solving a classification in the upcoming projects. We'll solve classification problem. But for this particular problem, we are basically going to use the regression problem statement. So these are all my features. So I just want to give you an idea about it. Now what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to open my Anaconda prompt. Probably you have that specific installed or uh, as 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 I have already said that, okay, the prerequisite is that you really need to know about Anaconda environments. At least you should have installed that. You probably need to install Visual Studio code and all. Okay. Now what I'm actually going to do quickly is that I'm going to create a new environment for this project. Now this is super important. And uh, whenever you start any project, do this particular first step and all the development will basically happen in that specific environment. So uh, what I'm actually going to do now is that first of all, let's see what is the command that we can basically use to create an environment. Now I'm just going to zoom in so that I'll write the environment text uh, environment uh, command also. So here you just need to write conda create. Okay. Minus minus prefix. Okay. And here you basically need to write out, write down the uh, environment name. Now in this particular case, car deco is my project. So I'm just going to write car price. Okay. So this will basically be my environment. It is up to you, whatever environment you really want to create, you can definitely go ahead and create it. Okay. In the simple way I can basically do in this uh, way also, or I can also directly open my visual studio code. Okay, so let me just show you. So over here, conda create minus minus prefix car price. And then I will basically say Python and the version of the Python that I'm basically going to use. Let's say 3.9, which is the recent version. And by default, I will say that, you know, as soon as I execute this much line of the command, right, it will ask me to go ahead with the installation or not. So there we have to basically write Y or N. By default, I really want to give Y so that it takes this command and start the installation. Now, this is the command that we will basically use to uh, use for creating the new environment. Other than this, what I'm actually also you can actually do, I will just open my Visual Studio code. And in this Visual Studio code, you'll be able to see that uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll just go inside my notebook. Okay, so let me just open my data. Okay, now all you have to do is that let's say this is my folder, right? This this card deco is my folder. And now car deco, I really want to open it over here. So just drag and drop this particular folder over here. Okay. 
and uh, what you can do you can also copy the folder or you can add workspace as a separate folder itself but don't do all those things i will just go over here file open folder and go to that specific folder what you really want to open right so let's say that inside this my entire project will be there so i'm just going to open this car deco folder okay so i'll just close this all because later on we are going to use dockers and all also okay so this is my entire folder so here you can see i have my data set so this is my entire data set okay now i've already shown you through my anaconda prompt i can either use this particular command or i can also create the environment from here so over here i'll just go and open my new terminal and instead of using powershell i will go and basically click on command prompt okay so let me delete the powershell so command prompt uh, is the default terminal that i'm actually going to use and the same command i can also use it over here now <clears throat> how do i use it you can see over here this is my working folder what i will do i'll do i'll go ahead and write the same thing conda create minus minus prefix okay v uh e and v and remember guys whatever error i will face i'm not going to edit that particular part if it takes me some amount of time i'm just going to work on that because i really want to you all to also see the error and how we are basically fixing the error so here i will just say give my uh car price as my environment name okay and uh, i have to basically use my python uh uh, which version of python i specifically want to use it is nothing but 3.9 and then i am basically going to use minus y now if i don't use this minus y it will ask me i either it is yes or no i'm just giving that specific parameter okay so let me just close it over here perfect so the next step is that i will just go ahead and press enter okay so either i can go ahead and press enter over here or here it will automatically create the environment let me go ahead and press the enter over here so here is the entire uh, i've started it now here you can basically see the installation downloading of the necessary libraries but default libraries will happen so all the necessary things will get installed by using this specific command again remember the command that was specifically used is uh, nothing but if you go and see over here conda create minus minus prefix car price car price is my environment name python is equal to 3.9 with the yes parameter so that it will start installing in the default way and this will probably take some amount of time with respect to the installation and again depends on the internet speed it depends on everything as such now this is perfect now here if you probably go and see it right you can see this car price environment has got installed over here itself right so here you can completely see that okay all the installation is done and by default whatever dll libraries is specifically required you can basically see the specific folder also right so this is perfect we have actually done it and uh, now this is basically my environment now in the next step what i can actually do is that i have to activate this environment you know now activating in in this environment basically means that i have to make sure that my compiler is running in this specific environment okay so let's say i open one of my file okay and let's say this is my test.py okay now here you will also be able to see a lot of options run python file debug python file uh you, you and i hope you have the basic idea about v, vs code right so this vs code is there you can also find jupyter variables whatever variables is basically created this is a debug console this is basically the terminal okay now see over here i will just go ahead and clear the screen now whenever i install or uh, whenever i create an environment whatever development i basically do i have to activate that specific environment then only whatever changes that i'm actually going to do will actually happen in that specific environment and we'll be able to run it and we'll be able to test it because we really need to install a lot of libraries like pandas numpy and all that also i'll, I'll try to sh show you that how every libraries will get installed how we have to basically create the requirement.txt so everything will basically be done okay now what i'm actually going to do over here i'm going to basically activate the environment that i have actually written so in order to activate i'll just use conda activate okay and my environment name that is car price so if i give this like this now what will happen it will go inside this car price now let's see whether it will work or not so now it you can see that i am actually working inside my car price okay 
so that specific environment has got triggered and i am inside this particular environment so whatever development now will basically happen all the installation whatever file that i'll be running it will be running within that specific environment okay so i don't have to worry about again installing multiple libraries in different different environments so whatever things i will be doing i'll be doing in this specific environment so this is the basic thing uh, that we have actually done okay so two folders still now I've created an environment which looks very good and from here I will probably do all the installation run my code and do multiple things itself okay the next thing that I'm actually going to focus on is that now since this is my data set right car deco data uh, underscore uh, data set dot csv now the next thing that I'm actually going to specifically do okay I'll go inside this notebook file okay and inside this I will create a file also and this file will basically be my let's say uh, any e, e, uh, IPYNB file, right? So let's say this is my EDA.IPYNB file because this is the first step that we basically do after we get our data set, okay? So let me just first of all uh, make sure that everything is fine in this. Now in this file, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to basically do all my analysis. So VS Code also supports IPYNB file. All you have to probably do the installation of the libraries. Let's see, whatever installation will be. Now here you can see that by default, it is going to this development environment. So I'm just going to change this environment to car price. Okay, car price. I've actually stayed, uh, changed it. And now let's see that whether it will be running or not. So I'm just going to uh, run a Python variable a is equal to five. And just I'm going to execute it. Now it says that running cell Python 3.91 requires IPy kernel package. Okay, so this specific package is definitely required. Now how do we install it? If I probably click on install, You'll be able to see that run the following command to install the ipy kernel so this is the step that you also have to do let's say that if you're directly implementing or running it in the jupyter notebook that is properly fine okay so what i'll do i'll just say conda install this 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 ipy kernel so what i'm going to do over here i'll just write pip install okay ipy kernel so let's see whether this will execute or not i think uh, the name is correct if you are probably going to get a uh, error not worries so we'll try to fix it okay so here it shows still an error let's see um replace with pip install okay still it is asking me uh running cells with python 3.1 9.13 okay what i'm actually going to do from here obviously we are not able to install it okay and probably we will be able to install it let's see i just close this don't save and now here i will go to my terminal in the same environment and let me write pip install i py kernel i hope now it should be able to work so here you can see that installation is basically happening all the installation is happening and this will basically happen the installation will happen in the same environment okay Again, again, guys, if I'm facing any error with respect to the installation, I am not going to make sure that I don't cut that specific video. I want you all to see the error and just see that how as a developer, I will be solving them. Okay. So here it is. Uh, I think the installation is done. Let's see. Um, and then what I am going to do is that I'm going to again open this I EDA IPONB file. Let's see how much time it is going to take and if you probably see over here i think in the dlls also you will be able to see it uh, include libraries okay, somewhere it will be there definitely inside this folder okay perfect uh, now the installation has definitely happened now i'm just going to execute it again a is equal to five and now uh, let's see the execution has happened you can clearly see that now the execution is basically happening and we are not getting any error now why i have created this so that i can also run ipynb in the visual studio code this is super important so if you really also don't want to do that what you can actually do is that i'll not save this right now let's say if you don't want to execute the ipynb file over here you can also use another other approach independently open jupyter notebook from this particular folder location so what folder location i'm actually talking about let's say inside my car deco i'm just going to copy this go and open my anaconda prompt okay so this is also super important there are multiple ways to do it but the best practice is that you try to do it from the visual studio code but again to make you understand i will make sure that i'll do it so i'll go to that specific folder location i will say conda activate uh conda activate car price 
okay you could not find the uh, conda okay let's see activate car price okay mm, says uh, let's see how many environment are there and probably if this is the problem then i have to again create a separate environment over there so this is how we can basically check with respect to all the environments and right now you can see that what are the environments over here so this is one of the environment over here but i'm not given any name for this environment so that is the reason it is not being able to check it you know so car price definitely we have created a folder over here, vs code but again we did not provide any name so that is the reason it is not able to check this so let's see what we can basically do because for all this environments we have given a specific name right and for this you can see for the last three which was v and v car price you know we did not create any name so that is the reason uh, that problem is there now uh, let me do one thing how do we solve this i also don't know let me try it out so i'll say conda activate okay and i'm already in the car deco or uh, let's see whether this will work or not so here it says activated does not work except more than one argument okay perfect so what i'm actually going to do is that uh, here you can basically see that we are not able to parse this properly because whenever we use this particular command it is not able to parse this car price so till now we have seen that we are getting so many errors so what is the next approach that i definitely want to try so over here you could see that how did we make sure that we went into that specific environment all i did is that i went inside this specific folder and activated it so we are also going to do the same thing over here let's see whether it will work i'm not sure whether it will work or not from this so conda activate car price and i'll just use slash so once i do this now here you can also see that i have uh, i have basically gone inside this specific environment so this is perfect till here now all i'm actually going to do is that launch my jupyter notebook so in order to launch it just go and open jupyter notebook now if you have not installed jupyter notebook then it can be a problem okay so if you probably see over here uh, i've written jupyter notebook okay and let's say if i'm executing it and jupyter notebook does not open i don't know whether i've installed jupyter notebook also or not so uh, the best thing is that what i'll do is that i'll just try pip install let's see what is the pip install for jupyter notebook we'll try to have a look on over here so here i'm just going to write pip install jupyter notebook i'm just going to search in the internet that is the best way right so uh let's see jupyter is over here pip install jupyter notebook okay install jupyter notebook it's fine i think uh, we should we can just write pip install jupyter notebook okay so i'll go over here i'll write pip install jupyter notebook i hope so it works perfect it is working fine the installation is basically happening you know because we are also going to use jupyter notebook if you don't want to use just go ahead and go ahead with ipy kernel uh, which was in visual studio code and automatically you can actually do the installation which is quite amazing right so yes uh this is the step uh again i just i don't want to fast forward anything we can wait for some time because for you also some installation will definitely be taking place now after the installation has taken place i'll just go ahead and clear the screen and from here i'm just going to launch my jupyter notebook so as soon as i launch from that specific folder my jupyter notebook will get launched so here was my notebook and here is my eda ipynb file and over here also uh, there is an issue saying that uh not json error notebook does not appear to be json it's fine let's close this and let's open a new python 3 file okay so here it is and now i will probably you if you want you can delete this because i don't want it anymore and here i will basically start my exploratory data analysis uh with respect to my car price prediction okay anyhow um i have actually given all the materials you can download the entire zip file but again i really want to show you some of the projects by writing line by line code so that you will be able to understand and eda is the first part of the life cycle of a data science project and definitely why do we use jupyter notebook because you will be able to see the visualization of the diagram and do multiple things okay so this was all the steps with respect to installation i have shown you with respect to vs code and many things definitely do that and yes uh, we'll see you all in the next video where we'll start the exploratory data analysis thank you i will see you on the next video bye bye